<laughs> I'm here in my my fish cleaning station at uh, the marina here where I, I come in after my trips clean all my fish and everything up and kind of regroup and get ready for another trip or get ready to wrap up my day so when I'm down here in the winter time uh, when it gets real cold they shut the water off down here uh, to keep the you know pipes from freezing obviously that run down the boat docks and everything I, I try to wash my boat out every day when I come in this gator hide that is on uh, or is an option on the sea arc boats on the interior it's like a spray-in truck bed liner so long introduction to what I want to show you this thing is a game changer I bought this at Home Depot uh, four or five days ago to clean up the fish cleaning station, clean the boat, came down here and started using it. And I know of 10 people that have seen this in the last four to five days that have gone and bought them for themselves. This right here, this is a Ryobi Easy Clean pressure washer runs off of an 18 volt battery here it's inside of this little plastic thing to uh, keep the tool waterproof you have the option of connecting it to a water hose right here but better yet i have this hose right here that's running down in the water and it has this little float on it and then a little filter down at the bottom so you can drop this in there and you can suck water out of the lake or out of a bucket this specific pressure washer again the ryobi easy clean this is 600 psi um, i think the pressure washer that i use the big gas power pressure washer is like 2600 or something like that now there's another version of this uh, pressure washer like this it runs off a battery that's only 320 psi i actually bought one of those about a year ago used it one time it was basically no better than just using a spray nozzle and a water hose so i took it back but i was at home depot the other day and i saw this one 600 psi and it works like a champ um, i'm going to just kind of show you here see you know there's some stuff on the deck it's not filthy i got shad scales and stuff all over my cooler there but it just gets kind of a little light coating of dirt and stuff on the boat just throughout the day of fishing so i'm going to set this camera down clean a couple little areas and show you real quick what it'll do and it's got this nozzle so what i've been using on here you can adjust this nozzle and i've been using the turbo setting on this it just kind of spins i think there's some other options where you can shoot soap out of it things like that i haven't honestly i didn't even read the instruction manual $159 for this. This was for the tool, uh, the hose and all the accessories you need, the battery and a battery charger. Now I've been able to wash the entire boat really well from front to back, clean my boat dock area up where I clean fish and my fish cleaning station up and still have battery charge left, but I definitely would want to make sure I had an extra battery or battery around if things were really dirty. Now I'll put a link in the description to this tool over at Home Depot so you can check it out. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon. We'll be back next week. This is Chad Ferguson, Catfish Edge.